quick shout out to Marty, one of the viewers of my channel. He noticed a mistake that I made in the schematic. Indeed, I did, Marty, in addition to uh, actually omitting R2 in the as-built itself. So I'm um, surprised I had any signal pass through over to the uh, short antenna. Anyway, this design I'm not big in favor of anyway because of the uh, particular transistor that uh, it leverages. So I have went back and uh, created a newer design using a more common NPN transistor off the shelf. And uh, this seems to do the trick. So uh, kind of double check myself here. Hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. But uh, this unit seems to uh, play pretty well. Again, there's a few things here you'll note. You can vary the amplitude of the RF carrier, of course, and that impacts the modulation profile that I'll demonstrate in just a moment. I also added an inductor on the outside there to a short wire antenna just to kind of boost the RF output a bit. So uh, those are the uh, probably the two notable things that can be varied in addition to the uh, resistor uh, value there of um, R2 can be varied as well and that also will impact the uh, modulation profile a real straightforward design and lets me uh, leverage the uh, CW carrier and create a simple transmitter here that can be modulated you can see looking at the breadboard the AM modulation profile is uh, far from perfect I'm sure that uh, that can be tweaked and uh, definitely improved upon and uh, just uh, reducing the uh, modulation to zero you can look here at the uh, CW carrier itself so that's nice and clean and then flipping back on the uh, modulation itself so again, I think just a little tweaking, someone could take this circuit, build off of it, and uh, come up with something uh, usable that uh, still works uh, pretty well for just a little short-range uh, transmitter right around a receiver for doing some uh, testing and evaluation.